Hello, I'm Martin Underhill and I'm the Dorset Police and Crime Commissioner. There are lots of ways you can have your say and that's why we've created loads of channels that you can approach. So we can do it online, futurepolicing.co.uk for a survey, but of course there's social media as well, so Facebook, Twitter, uh, etc. Plus you could also contact one of our two officers, Alison or mine, for paper copies which we'll send to you. Or you can meet us at our events, Alison and I, across all three counties, both forces, for the next eight weeks. It's really important we get to hear what the public have to say. The Governor made it clear, I've made it clear, this merge will only happen if the public say yes. And therefore we need your views. And importantly, the survey online at futurepolicing.co.uk, that actually has text box in it, which means you can write what you want to tell us what you feel. You can also ask questions that we will answer. You've got eight weeks. That sounds like a long time, but it isn't, because I want to hear from loads of you. We close our survey on the 27th of August. Please, please, please get in contact, let us know what you think. And please fill in survey at futurepolicing.co.uk. We will get our survey results by the end of August, then spend four to six weeks considering those survey results and tweaking the uh, application to government if necessary. And then we go to government at the end of October with a detailed business case. And the ministers have said they'll give us an indication, yes or no, by December this year. And then after Christmas, we go into a year of parliamentary debate and lawmaking so that the shadow force can start in about November 2019, looking to be ready to launch on the date of the next PCC elections in May 2020. It's important to remember that there'll be one Chief Constable and one PCC in May 2020 with a new force. The merger will come into effect in May 2020 when we will have one police force representing three counties. It will be the fifth biggest police force in the country and the largest rural force in the country, giving the South West a voice for the first time. And in that sense, I'm very excited.